What is going on, folks? TJ Lowerman, a.k.a. That Sports Gamer here. Community manager for Out of the Park Baseball 17. What is going on, people? We are here tonight as a little, little make-up for missing last night's stream. Uh, we're going to be continuing our 2020 or bust franchise with the Braves. Uh, it has rapidly become the please don't fire us by the end of 2017 uh, franchise with the Braves. Uh, we did a lot of stuff in the offseason. The big thing, as we know from, uh, I believe it was two episodes ago, uh, we ended up trading Freddie Freeman uh, to clear up some money to bring in a bunch of other guys, uh, making some trades. We got Aaron Judge out of that. Uh, so we did some things that I think are really going to help us in the long run. Uh, but we're going to have to get through some rough spots now uh, to try to help us out uh, once the screen comes up. So as you can see, uh, our rotation is almost all in double-digit losses, which uh, that's great. 8-4 uh, and four for Tehran, John Gant's 4-11. and 11, or Sorry, 8-10 and 10 for Tehran, 4-11 and 11 for John Gant. Manny Bal uh, Benuelos is 1-10. Uh, Winkler is four and six. Uh, Fulton Evitz is three and ten. We got we got problems. Look at these ERAs: four point five, five, five forty five, six, six eighty five. That's not gonna fly. Uh, our bullpen's got high ERAs. I don't think our offense is that great. Uh, Ender and Ciarte is hitting two ninety two, which is nice. Uh, Adonis Garcia has thirteen home runs. Mark Trumbo has eleven home runs, but he's only hitting two oh eight. Uh, we gave him a pretty decent contract. Uh, it's currently July 16th in our franchise. So uh, we've got a ways to go. We're 30 and 60. So I think going 500 is uh, pretty much out the window right now. Uh, I don't even know if we've got anybody making the all-star team. Let's go take a look at that. Oh, they announced the All-Star Teams today. Okay. Let's, or can I, do I have the email? Rosters have been announced. Uh, National League roster. Do we have anybody? Giants, Dodgers, Mets. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Rough. That's rough. Uh, let's finish out. Let's just go. Uh, let's go to the All Star Game. We'll check that out. Uh, see what happens there. Do I have an email saying that I'm going to be fired quickly? Uh, Ender Inciarte is out for two weeks. I don't know if you guys saw last night. Uh, in real life, Ender Inciarte made a game winning catch on a would be home run by Yoannis Cespedes that would have gave the Mets a, a game winning walk off. Uh, but Ender Inciarte climbed the wall and robbed a homer that would have won it. So uh, that was nice. Sadly, that was real life. We need wins in this game, which uh, is more important than real life right now, if you ask me. Uh, we're going to go to the schedule. We're going to play out this all-star game. Clayton Kershaw versus Anthony Fernandez. Out of Detroit, went fifteen and five last year. Who is Anthony Fernandez? Huh? Came out of nowhere to go fifteen and five for Detroit. Now he's seven and five this year with a three sixty eight. That's uh that's not bad. We have to get Paul Sporer back on the show to uh, to discuss that. All right, so the National League's got Joey Votto, Buster Posey, Bryce Harper, Giancarlo Stanton, Corey Seager, Chris Bryant, Addison Russell, Jason Hayward, and Nolan Arenado with Clayton Kershaw on the hill. The American League has Jose Altuve, Michael Brantley, Mike Trout, Miguel Sano, Manny Machado, Prince Fielder, Josh Donaldson, Carlos Correa, Jonathan LaCroix, and as we said, Anthony Fernandez on the hill. Uh, anything standing out here? Chris Bryant, 27 home runs. That's uh, That ain't too bad. 
Uh, his Cubs teammates, uh, Hayward and Russell, are both hitting over 300. Buster Posey's hitting 357 with 15 home runs. Bryce Harper hitting 313 with 22 home runs. I believe he was the leading vote getter. Uh, Michael Brantley hitting 359 with nine home runs, a 9.28 OPS. Wow. Mike Trout 293, 27 jacks and a thousand point zero zero two OPS, 73 RBIs at the break. Wow. Bryant and Russell both have 72 RBIs at the break. Uh, this should be a great game. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's let's uh let's jump into this bad boy. Oh, they swapped in Kiermaier to play left field. Uh, any changes to the National League? No, no changes to the National League. Wind's blowing in from left at 9 miles per hour. Fernandez is fourth in the AL in K's. Joey Votto leads off the game. Hitting a little, a little duck out to the... Shortstop behind second base. Buster Posey now up. 92 contact. He's going to take that walk. He's got. He's the NL leader in batting average. And uh, he gets the bases loaded and draws a walk. Nice. Uh, B. Harp up at the plate. What's he going to do? Wild pitch by Fernandez. Buster Posey is going to go down to second base. Full count to Harper. He's going to hit a little grounder to the first baseman. Right, Posey moves to third. Giancarlo up. One, uh, two outs. Runner on third. Oh, he hits a towering shot to deep left field. Is it going to go? It is going to go. Goodbye. 398. Giancarlo Stanton puts a charge into one here in the top of the first to give the National League a 2 Nothing lead. Ain't that some stuff. Corey Seager with a little ground ball to shortstop, but Correa can't handle it, and it's going to go through to left field for a single for Seager. Chris Bryan up, the left fielder for the NL here. Uh, this does look like Comerica Park, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, Bryant goes down on strikes. Uh, Notorious MDG, can you tell me how's the how's the sound good going? Can you uh, can you hear the game well? Uh, we got Clayton Kershaw on the mound for the NL. Jose Altuve up at the plate. Ten and five record for Kershaw. Three twenty two ERA. Altuve with a drive of the middle. That's going to be a single. Altuve, the speedster, he gets on to lead off the game. 88 speed. I wouldn't. Posey's only got a 65 arm. Again, these ratings are zero to, uh, 1 to 100. Uh, so 88 speed's pretty good. Not going to be good enough to not get doubled up here. Fielder's choice. No. Correa beats out the grounder to the short stop, uh, who flips over to second for the first out, but is not able to get the second runner. All right, so runner on first for Mike Trout, hitting 359 on the season. Or no, he's hitting 301 on the season. He's gonna fly out to the second baseman. Miguel Sano up. They shifting him. Oh, they got the they got the big shift on Sano, but it doesn't matter. Sano goes oppo for a big fly. Yes, a big fly. Two run shot by Miguel Sano to tie it up. Wow, 391 the distance on that one. He had 16 home runs in the regular season. So that blast is not unexpected, but off Clayton Kershaw. Very surprising. Machado up. Hits a little ground to the shortstop. He makes play over first before the third out of the inning. And so Giancarlo Stanton pulls one. Sano goes oppo. And we got a tie game here going into the second. 2-2 two -two each team with two hits. Willie Peralta in for the White Sox. 293 ERA on Peralta. 9-3 record on the year. Addison Russell up the plate. Hits a little flare out to center field, but it's not going to drop in there. Mike Trout, he's got those wheels out there in center. 
Next up, Russell's teammate, Jay Hay. It's a single into right field past the second baseman, Altuve. So we got a runner on first, one out for Nolan Arenado, Rockies third baseman. He hits a little grounder over to short. They make the play at second, and they double up Arenado at first to end the inning. A 1-2-3 inning there for the AL that inning. Jose Fernandez in for the National League to face Prince Fielder. 264 ERA for Fernandez on the season. 116 strikeouts and 99 innings pitched. And what does he do? Strikes out Prince Fielder swinging on four pitches. Josh Donaldson up from the Toronto Blue Jays. Gonna hit a little pop fly to the shortstop for out number two. Jose Fernandez doing work right now. Kevin Kiermeyer is not going to let him keep continue doing work. He ropes one into the gaps. Looks like Kiermeyer is going to go two, and he's going to be held up there after a line drive double into right center. Uh, Notorious MDG, there will uh, not be a hockey manager stream after this, but top secret, don't tell anybody. I don't even know if I'm allowed to tell you right now. Uh, there will be a franchise hockey manager th announcement uh, tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern right here on twitch.tv slash OOTP developments. Uh, we'll be promoting that highly tomorrow. So uh, assuming we get everything out right, we're, uh, we're doing some stuff right now uh, in the background to make sure all that works. Uh, but I think tomorrow night we're going to have an announcement at 9 p.m. Eastern uh, about hockey manager. But no hockey manager stream after this tonight. Uh, Fernandez gets another strikeout. Gets LaCroix swinging. Hot, hot, spicy details. It's going to be great. Chris Sale, a.k.a. Sale, coming in to pitch for the American League. That's another White Sox, for the, another White Sox pitcher. Uh, against Joey Votto. Uh, and if you don't get to see the announcement, uh, we will have it uh, backed up on YouTube.com slash OOTP Developments. Votto flies out to the center fielder. Buster Posey up against Sale. He's going to go down swinging on three pitches. Wow. It's a quick at-bat. Bryce Harper up. I guess this is a good time to bring in Sale to face all these lefties. Bryce Harper puts one into left field. On comes Kiermaier. He makes the play. Uh, here's the trick. If you're watching on the Twitch app, and let's say you're at work, uh, you could always switch the stream over to audio only and just listen to our dulcet tones. Max Scherzer on the mound for the NL to face Jose Altuve in the top of the AL lineup. Still 2-2. Grounder to third. Arenado fields and fires over to first for the first out of the inning. Uh, Astro shortstop Carlos Correa. Interesting uh, to note... The American League leads off with two teammates, and the six, seven, eight hitters for the National League are also teammates. Uh, two outs after Correa lined up to the third baseman, and Mike Trout goes down swinging to end the third, uh, third inning. All right, Dallas Keuchel in for the American League to face Giancarlo Stanton, who we all remember hit that m -m -m monster bomb, uh, but he's going to go down swinging this time. No such luck on the uh, on the comeback around. Uh, Corey Seager up from the Dodgers. I don't believe his brother made the All-Star game. Uh, Seager rips one into right, and it's going to fall in right in front of Miguel Sano for a single. Chris Bryant up. 2-2 Two -two count. All right. Full count. Chris Bryant walks. Moving Seeger over to second base. Still only one out. Runners on first and second for Addison Russell. He loops one into right field. It's going to drop in before Sano. Are they going to test him? They're going to test him. And he's going to score. And the National League goes up 3-2. to two. The runners advance to second and third. Still a dangerous position here for the AL. Uh, Keuchel up to face Jason Hayward. He's going to go down swinging for out number two. Keuchel's second strikeout of the inning. Uh, with Nolan Arenado coming up. 
the American League brings in Steven Strasburg, who was apparently traded or signed with the Toronto Blue Jays. He's 8-6 and six on the year with a 3.0 ERA. Arenado hits a little tapper back out to the mound. But Strasburg picks it up and throws him out at first. Joe Ross in for the National League. He's 10-7 and seven on the season. 281 ERA. In to face Sano, who had a home run, as we said, in the top of the first. Ooh. Sano, much like Stanton, faces the same exit with the strikeout. The virtual goat in the chat, very excited about the Strasburg as a J. Uh, one down, Manny Machado up. He goes down looking. That's strikeout number two for Joe Ross. Economical right now. On six, two Ks on six pitches. Not bad. Not bad. Prince Fielder hits a little ground ball to the second baseman. Addison Russell is there to make the play with the toss over to Joey Votto for the third out of the inning. Yeah, we tried to get Joey Bats, I believe. Or do we? I think we tried to get Joey Bats and Edwin Encarnacion. Uh, no, we tried to get Enca Encarnacion in the offseason, I believe. Uh, Va uh, Strasburg still in for the American League. Joey Votto hits a leadoff single to start off the top of the fifth against Strasburg. Now batting Travis Darno into pinch hit for Buster Posey. He flies one out to right field, but it looks like Sano's going to be there to make the play. And that's going to be out number one of the inning. Now pinch hitting Andre Ethier for the National League. He flares one into left field. Is it going to drop? No, it is not. Kiermaier is going to be over there to make the play for out number two. Uh, Giancarlo Stanton in. Strasburg still on the hill for the National League. Stanton hits a rope into left, just left of center field, but it goes all the way back to the wall. And Vado is going to come all the way around from first to score, giving the National League a 4-2 to two lead. Runner on second, Seeger up, and he hits a single up the middle. Stanton's not going to risk it with Mike Trout's arm in center. Uh, ben Zobrist up, pinch hitting for Chris Bryant. Uh, Houston Street comes in for the American League. Runners on the corners, two outs. Pass ball, a.k.a. wild pitch. Giancarlo Stanton scores Corey Seager down a second. 5-2 lead for the National League. Zobris is a shot down the first base line, but Fielder is there to make the play and retire him to retire the side. Uh, so the National League gets two in the top of the fifth as we move on to the bottom of the fifth. Noah Syndergaard comes in to pitch for the National League. He's 12-3 and three on the season. Uh, with a 2.63 ERA, how he didn't get the All-Star Game start, I don't know. Three-two count to Donaldson, and he strikes out swinging. A lot of K's today, folks. Showing off those National League arms. Kevin Kiermaier up, hits a little dribbler to second base, but Addison Russell is there to make the play. Uh, the nine hitter up for the AL, Jonathan LaCroix. He goes down swinging to end the fifth inning. American League still leads, or National League still leads. Five to two. Houston Street staying in the game to face Addison Russell. Addison Russell puts a charge in with one right. Miguel Sano back, back, back. He's not going to get it as it clears the fence for a solo home run for Addison Russell. 349 feet. That gives the National League a 6-2 to two lead over of the American League. Uh, sadly, there are no Braves in this All-Star game. Notorious MDG. I wonder if there any on the bench. I don't think so. Uh, I don't believe so. 
they uh, once they saw the Braves record, they were like, we don't care if we have to carry an extra guy. We're not taking any Braves. Starling Marte in the pinch hit. He's going to walk. Marte, not slow. 77 speed, 76 steal. Nolan Arenado flies out to right field. Uh, yes, baseball does have an every team must be represented rule. Uh, but once we allowed the DH into the National League here in 2017, rules are just out the window, folks. Astros Ken Giles into pitch. Runner on first and Starling Marte, Joey Votto at the plate. Votto hits one to left. Back, back, back. But Kevin Kiermeyer is there. Just shy of the track to make first at the second out of the inning. Travis Darno up. He's going to walk. Marte down a second. Andre Ethier up to plate. Can he do something here? Rips one into right field. It's going to drop in front of Sano. One run will score. Ethier stays at first. Darno stays at second. Grandal coming to the plate with the Nationals leading 7-2. to two. Passed a wild pitch again. This is what happens when your pitcher and catcher are not on the same page. Uh, this is the kind of thing you see in an All-Star game. All right, so we got Grandal up, two out, runners on second and third. Can he drive them in to extend this lead even more? He will not going down swinging, but not before the National League scores two more runs to give him a 7-2 lead over the American League. Uh, Josh Outman coming in for the National League to face Jose Altuve. 181 ERA on the season. He's going to walk Jose Altuve. That's not a good way to start off with this American League Ross, uh, American League lineup. Altuve on first. Correa up. Grounder to short. Plays at second and throws to first to get the double play. Maybe Outman knew what he was doing walking Jose Altuve. Mike Trout up. Mike Trout hits one to left. It is high. It is deep. But Andre Ethier barely has to move to make the third out of the inning. Corey Seager up. Here in the top of the seventh. Kelvin Herrera coming in for the American League. He's got a 130 ERA on the year. Ethier hits a little dribble out to the mound. But Herrera isn't able to make the play in time. And Seager gets a single. I'll take it. Uh, ben Zoberst up. Zach Britton coming in for the for the American League. Ben Zoberst rips one into left field for a single. Seager stops at second base. And L's got two on. Addison Russell coming to the plate. None out. Russell with the homer earlier strikes out in his next at bat, which seems to be a trend. Starling Marte shoots one down the right field line. But Seager's going to stop at third base and not test Miguel Sano's arm. Kind of got a cannon out there. And we got bases loaded for Nolan Arenado coming up. Zach Britton out there, sweating. Arenado, grounder to short. They get the play at second, and back to first for the double play to end the inning. We go into the seventh inning stretch with the National League leading 7-2. to two. Marlins' A.J. Ramos coming on to pitch for the NL. Miguel Sano at the plate. Ramos is 2-0 with a .91 ERA and 60 strikeouts in 39 and two-thirds innings. And he walks Sano, the leadoff hitter. Not what you want to do. Uh, but then he rolls the next batter, Manny Machado, went to double play. So I guess walking leadoff hitters is a good idea because the last two innings it's uh, resulted in double plays on the next batter. 
Prince Fielder pulls one out to right field, but Ben Zobris is there to make the play to end the inning. Top of the eighth, National still, or National League still up seven to two. Zach Britton gets Joey Votto to ground up to the first baseman. Next up, Travis Darno. He's going to hit a little grounder to the second baseman. Just going around the horn here. Andre Ethier up. Lefty, lefty battle. And Ethier rips one through the right field side of the infield and gets it past Altuve for another single. His teammate, Yasmani Grandal, is up here. He puts a charge into one. But it looks like it's going to be a routine play out here for Kevin Kiermaier. Kiermaier drops it. No. Thought it was going to be a routine play. But no, it is not. Kiermaier drops it. Andre Ethier goes all the way around to third. Grandal ends up at second. Wow. Did not see that coming from Kiermaier. Two outs. Two on. Corey Seager at the plate. Looking to do some damage. He hits a single into left. Kiermaier fields it good, but they are not going to be able to get Grandal, the trail runner, who also comes in to score, making it 9-2 National League. Ben Zobris just hits a little dribbler out to the mound, and he ends the inning there, but not before the National League score another two runs to give them a 9-2 lead over the American League. Trevor Rosenthal in for the National League. True virtual goat. Everyone makes mistakes. Josh Donaldson up. Donaldson strikes out looking. A lot of strikeouts in this game. Kiermaier up looking to see if he can redeem himself. He did have that nice hit earlier in the game, though. Doesn't look like he's going to do it here, though. With a pop fly out to the first baseman. Uh, pinch hitting for LaCroix is going to be Miguel Cabrera. He's going to fly one down the right field line. And it looks like Zobris is going to be there to make the play and finish off the American League here in the bottom of the eighth inning. All right, so we go to the top of the ninth. National League up seven. Zach Britton is still in the game. Even though he's allowed four hits in two innings. Why is Zach Britton the guy they leave in for extra long? Hmm. Addison Russell walks. Starling Marte hits into a double play. What is this going on? What is, what's with the walking the first batter and then getting the next guy to hit into a double play? Nolan Arenado up. Ground to the shortstop. That's going to do it for the National League here on the top of the ninth. Also, guys, if you haven't already, uh, make sure you get the update that came out today. A maintenance patch cleaned up a few things. Uh, in OTP. It's out in Steam, and you can download it from OTP Developments. Uh, but if you purchased the game from the Mac App Store, I believe it's going to take a couple extra days uh, for that to come out. Uh, Carter Caps of the Mar uh, Marlins in here to lock it down for the National League, and they're seven are on a lead. Always tough for a closer to come with a seven-run lead, so let's see if Caps can lock it down here. Altuve leads it off with a rip in the center field, but he's going to be out on a nice play by Starling Marte. Correa up. 0 for 3 on the day. Make that 0 for 4. As he goes down swinging. Ryan O'Hearn in, hitting 307, 21 jacks and 63 RBIs. Why did this guy not start the game? He got hit by a pitch. 0 2 count. He got hit by a pitch. Unbelievable. Nomar Mazzara coming in. Two down. And he strikes out swinging to end the 2017 All-Star Game. Congratulations to the National League. Winning 9-2. to two, Getting themselves home field advantage in the World Series. How many Ks were there? 
The American League struck out 11 times. National League only struck out six. Home runs by Addison Russell and Gene Carlos Stanton for the National League and Miguel Sano from the American League. Scherzer gets the win. Syndergaard gets the hold. Keuchel takes the L. My dog takes the bark. All right. Is there anything, is there literally anything we can do to save this Braves team? That's my question. All right. Ugh. Do we have any mail? Is there anybody to help us? Is there anybody that wants to just like send us somewhere to be better? This team is looking rough right now. I don't even know what to do. Is there value in Julio Tehran? Does anybody want him? Gerardo Parra? None of these. This is, none of this is what I want. Ugh. I mean, Manny Balbuenos is uh, Benuelos is one and ten. How is he still in the rotation? I can get Joe Panic. Who who his, who's hitting two forty two? Which you know what? That'd be good on this team. <laughs> Though Jace Peterson's hitting two sixty six, so. More like bad duelos. Thank you, Virtual Goat. It is twenty by twenty. It is titled by twenty twenty or bust. But I think we're gonna get fired before that happens. Do we have any minor league starting pitchers that are like tearing it up? We sent Dansby Swanson back down to the minor leagues. I don't know why. And Max Freed's two and eleven in Double A. Aaron Blair's pitching good. I keep calling Dansby up and they keep sending him down. All right, we got to send two guys down. Manuelos, you got to go. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get there. Or do I like I don't even know. Who do you who do you get rid of? Fulton Evans has got a six fifty three a six eighty three ERA. Send them both down.
Malik Smith ain't doing nothing for me. Gimme Aaron Blair. Gimme Dansby. Do I want Newcombs or do I want Sims? Gimme Nukem. Where's the 40 man? All right, someone's got to go. Who was I just trying to bring up? Is, uh... My phone paper shut, Junior ain't doing nothing. Albies is on the 40 man. So let's bring up Albies as well. No offense, Omar Obregon, but uh, you're going back to AAA. Because Albies is tearing the cover off the ball. He's hitting 367, 415, 500 down there. Promote to Atlanta. All right, notorious MGD or MDG. We'll see you tomorrow. Pitching, pitching, pitching. Newcomb Bird, Gant, Blair in the bullpen. Okay. All right. Let's hope this life, this new blood that we're bringing in, is gonna help. Let me get a graphical depth chart. Third base is good. First base is Trumbo. I want second base to be Albies. I want shortstop to be Swanson. DH is Bruce. Right field is Judge. One of these Peters can play. F Peterson can play left. I remember back in the day when I had a problem with having too many outfielders. The, which one, yeah, Dustin Peterson can play left. We need an outfielder. Preferably a center fielder. 
Malik Smith, I cannot play you because you are playing so awful. Well, I'm going to regret this. All right, Dustin Peterson is the one that could have left. Okay. Swanson at short. Albies at second. Chase Peterson, too good to be on the bench. Yeah, I guess we should probably play him somewhere. You mind if I DH him? What if I... Let's just go with this for now. Uh, his feeling was good. Okay. Maybe maybe we get a little spark here. Maybe. We'll see. We are 30. Sorry. We are 30 and... 30 and 60. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Let's give them a week. See what happens. We got to win. First game out. If I can get anything for this guy, you know, I'll be more than happy to let you go. Not taking Koji Uihara. Rock Holt, though. No, no, no. Wait. 
Win one, lose two. Chris Bryant leading the league with 28 home runs and 75 RBI, but he just got uh, just got knocked down. Trade proposal from Pittsburgh. Koei Ujihara for Tyler Flowers. No, that's not going to happen. Thirty-three and sixty-three. Let me guess, Trumbo, you're not super excited. If I can get something good for you. Don't nobody want Mark Trumbo. Sorry. Sorry, bro. Trade off from Texas. Ike Davis for Tyler Flowers and Darian Cruz. That's not going to happen. Thirty four and sixty four. Hey, we're four and four. Uh Mike Tatnapoli for Jay Bruce. No, I don't need I don't need a Mike Napoli. All right, goat, thanks for coming by. We're not paying Trumbo a ton. We are paying him ten million, and it goes up a little bit to eleven five next year. Sean Newcomb is developing nicely. Lucas Sims is coming on the up. Uh, 10 mil is a good amount for Trumbo, but you figure if I had to pay someone else, even if I had to do like a... Like offer him arbitration or something, or not arbitration? Uh, the qualifying offer was going to be like eighteen million for a guy last year. Chase Peterson's going up. Zach Bird coming down. Julio Tehran going up. Actually, our record since we made those changes is pretty good. Though our lineup seems to be all screwed up now. All righty then. Yeah, I think Mark Hickis wanted like eight million or something. Or did I trade? I traded Mark Hickis away because someone was actually willing to take him. I gotta fire my bench coach who just keeps messing with my lineups. All right, let's just uh, let's try to get through this year. And Mike, uh, I think Trumbo came off hitting like pretty good, which is why I was willing to make the move. Thirty-three 
35 and 76. So we've gone 5 and 16 since the All-Star break. Unbelievable. Jay Bruce out for three weeks. Oh, my God. This is just on. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Just fire me now. Fire me now. Who's mad now? Adonis Garcia? Nobody is getting along with each other because you're not winning. How about you win some games and y'all be golden? There's going to be big changes at the end of the season. No questions asked. Big, big changes. Ender and Ciarte out eight weeks. Are you my... I literally cannot... I can... Not. Not anymore. I cannot. <laughs> Jose A. Ramirez. Damaged elbow ligament. Is, a, is out for at least nine... To ten months. On. A believable. Forty four and eighty eight. Please, oh, please don't get hurt. I mean, we tried. We tried real hard. And, uh, I don't know. I just don't know. Who is sending me a message now? Or all this fist guy, you know, I can't. I cannot deal with you anymore. Just, I don't want to send until next year. Okay. Can we please just finish this regular season? <sighs> yeah, this is... Yeah, this is exactly, AZ Axel. This is essentially what happened to the... to the Diamondbacks this year. What now? Alberto Castillo is ready to leave. Daniel Winkler's out two weeks. I feel like I gotta figure out what dude is making all these moves behind my back and fire him. Cause someone's out here making moves, about to get fired. What 
What was the standings? 53 and 108. There's still more games to play. Finish today. Yeah, I'm going to have to go in and check the manager settings and see what's up. Hey, we won the last game of the season. Let's give the team credit there. They came together. They won it there. We're very proud of them. 54 and 108. No one else lost 100. Or no, sorry, San Francisco lost 101. So, that's all right. Uh, we'll be back next Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern, I believe. Uh, just make sure you're following us on Twitter, at OOTP Baseball, to make sure about that. Also, uh, tomorrow night, I believe we're going to be having a franchise hockey manager announcement uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern right here on twitch.tv slash OOTP Developments. Uh, other than that, folks, thank you very much for watching. Sorry that we're uh, we're not really getting anything done here with these guys. Uh, but, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, take it easy, folks.